Are you a student who's planning to cross the border this coming fall 2022? If you are, please do watch this video until the end because I have an important information that I want to share with you. And this is about the study permit conditions that you should know by now. Hi, it's me again, Coach MC. You're watching SV Planner, Study Leave Explore Canada, appearing for another Friday video here in Cebu, Philippines. I'm here shooting a video for you to help you guide you through your process towards your Canadian dream. So if you're with me, make sure that you smash the like button. So this information I'm about to share with you guys, it's very important. I want you to watch it until the end. Actually, my friend of mine who recently called me about this and she's actually stressed about it. But okay, let's get right to it. I noticed most students are confused between the student visa and the student permit. I think most students thought that the student visa on their passport is the document that will allow them to study and work. Actually, the visa will only allow you to fly to Canada. You will be getting another document from the Canadian border and that is your student permit. And that document, I want you to pay attention. Once you're at the border and you, they issued already the study permit document, I want you to double check the information, your name, your birth date, the school, the DLI number, and most importantly, the condition. So now, here's where my friend got a problem because she's been working now since I think almost a few months already. She's been working as a student 20 hours, but then suddenly she found out that her study permit document does not state that she can work off and on campus. Now, the problem is we're not sure if that's actually a problem because as per IRCC, you can't work off campus without a work permit of any of the situations apply to you. It says that your study permit says you earn authorized to work off campus while you study. Basically, you're not allowed to work if that says on your study permit. But with my friend, it doesn't state anything. When I look at my study permit, it says you can work off and on campus. My sister got the same condition. She can work on and off campus. So basically, just avoid confusion. Make sure that when you cross the border, if your permit does not include on and off campus condition, if it does not include that statement, ask the visa officer. Ask if I'm allowed to work, why is it not on my study permit? Do not be afraid to ask the officer. And as per IRCC, if your study permit does not have a work condition, you can actually ask for amendment. You can apply for it without any fee, but that will take some time to get another permit issued to you. So just do it at the border just to make sure that you know you don't have to go through this hassle again. And another study permit conditions that I noticed as well is that you're not allowed to work in a healthcare industry. So basically if you did not take a medical examination, basically you're not allowed to work in a healthcare industry. But what if you change your program to let's say personal support worker, then and now you have to ask for amendment again. So basically, if you want to work as a caregiver or licensed practical nurse, you have to go through the medical and that will allow them to amend the condition as well. Another condition is for your spouse. Let's say your spouse wanted to work outside the province. Let's say you initially planned to work in British Columbia. However, you wanted to move to Nova Scotia, then double check again your spermine and if that allows you to work outside the province, you can do that. But if not, maybe you want to apply for amendment. So double check with IRCC before working outside the province, especially if you have a condition written on your permit. Also, before leaving the Canadian border, make sure that you have your work permit with you if you have internship or co-op. That will be a separate permit as well. So please do secure that as well before leaving the Canadian border. And 
and do not forget of course apply for a sin before working and also apply for your bank account as well and do not do not please 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 work more than 20 hours while you're studying there you have it things that you should know about your study permit conditions and if you need legal help please do not hesitate to contact us because we are partnered with an immigration consultant or if you need help with program advising or connect you with one of our alumni students we can do that for you so thank you for watching this video do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thank you salamat bye